Let me quickly show you how you can set up Google Analytics into your Shopify store. So here is my Shopify dashboard and here is the online store front page. And now I need to go to Google Analytics. So first of all, you need to search here Google Analytics. And then you need to click on first link Google Analytics. And then after you will be redirected to a specific account, but you have to select the account which is relevant for you. I mean, uh, currently I am going to set up Google Analytics with this Gmail account. So it will open up the dashboard of Google Analytics. Then I need to create some properties for that. So here we go. Now you can see that we have home reports and all. Now you need to click on admin. Then you need to click on click properties. Once you clicked on properties, then you need to add here specific name. For example, the website name is Paragon and here I am going to write Paragon Analytics maybe. Alright, then after you need to select the, uh, select the country, here we have United Kingdom but I need to write here Australia. All right, then after I need to select a specific country, which is Australian pound, Australian dollar, sorry. And then after you need to uh, click here, show advanced options. Then you need to enable this option. And here you need to paste the website name. So here is the website. So you only need to copy and paste this specific thing. Maybe you can write www, but if you are not writing that, it will be it will work fine as well but you can add here www.paragon.com.au all right then after you need to select this option create universal analytics property only then you need to click on uh, next once you are clicking on next then you need to select a specific category click on select then you can uh, select here any category which is uh, which is related to your store but here it is related to home and garden because the products are related to home and garden all right then after you need to click here business size that is for example small 1 to 10 employees then you need to select measure content monetization or maybe increase my conversions all right and once you are selecting all this stuff then you need to, need to click on create so it will create the setup for my Google Analytics. Once you are done, then you will be getting this kind of screen. All right. Here you can see that it automatically gives me this uh, screen where I need to uh, select the code. So here you can see that I have this code which I am going to copy from here. But first of all, I need to go to the dashboard of my Shopify store again. Then in, you need to click on actions. Then you need to click on edit code. And here you will have some folders and files actually there are two ways but this is the first way which i am going to show you here click on layouts then click on theme.liquid once you are clicking on theme.liquid then you can see that we have head tag open just press enter key and you will get some space above this we need to paste this code which is this one copy this code and paste it here all right now we are good to go you can save the changes and track the analytics but what we can do now is we can close this click on exit and here we have another option of preferences click on preferences then scroll it down and here you can see that we have the option of google analytics so this is also one of the box where you can paste that code which we have this one and we can paste that code and this will also work First of all, you need to uh, paste that code here. If that is working fine, then that's good. If that is not working fine, then you need to go uh, go and uh, apply the first step which I told you before. All right. Once you are done, then you can actually refresh this page. And let me go to analytics. And then you can actually go to home. And click on real time, maybe. So here you can see that this is the live uh, live active users which are showing here. 
so currently only single person has uh, uh, person is visited onto your store so that's why it is showing one that means it is working absolutely fine all right here you can also see the name paragon analytics so that's it for now so i think that you got the basic understanding that how you can set up google analytics into your store if you wanted to uh, again check that the code is available into your store or not earlier then you can also do one more thing right click click on view page source and here you will have uh, some code you can actually find here control f or command f then you can select analytics and here you can see that this analytics is searched inside of it and that means this is available into your store all right so that's it for now thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video thank you once again see you in the next video